doctor didn't have to pay chickens and food. This is it. <laughs> this is my patient who brought me some fruits from her farm as a gesture of thank you after her last session. Wonderful, thank you. you All right, how are you doing after your last session, by the way? Wonderful, I slept well. Yeah, differently, huh? Mm. And thought well. Yeah. She yeah. was in an accident also, you know. Her car ran over the river and stopped on a tree like this and prevent, didn't go all the way down, but right the bank in and go and crash about eight months ago. I see. And okay. it jerked it. Jerked your neck. Yeah, but she did not. Yeah. You've been feeling better since your treatment? Yes. And your um, sleep's been better and you've been sleep. less stressed is what I think yes. I'm also hearing. With a lot of our patients who are suffering from anxiety, panic attacks, stress, her last visit, now I'm only given the opportunity to see her once a week on Saturdays. That's when she can come down from Upper Jamaica and come make it to the clinic. So with this patient, this is where you get kind of in these situations where I don't want to overtreat the patient. It's something I never want to do. However, I get to see the patient once a week, and that's it. And in this time frame, I, that means I get to see her three times, three Saturdays. So I'm here in Kingston for three weeks. I need to do as much as I can in a session. We had, I think, 23 or 27 patients this day. And I'm not wearing any teeth Oh, wonderful. So you're probably less jumpy in general. <laughs> yes. Is your husband happy about that? <laughs> <laughs> When patients are suffering from this level of stress and anxiety, their sleep patterns are off, meaning they're hypersensitive when they sleep, they are easily woken up, they can't go into a deep level of sleep, they're jumpy when their loved one touches them, and he'll explain this later on, she was very jumpy, and that was prior to care. Then after care, her system calmed down, calmed down her nervous system, and now she can wake up and respond normally to when he nudges her while she's asleep. I can actually wake her up now in the mornings. In the morning, I should wake up now. No, no. <laughs> she just. All right, now. When you were falling asleep in the path before I adjusted you, did you jerk when you would fall asleep? Jerk. Like she's falling asleep, and she does. Yeah. She would do that. Yeah. And she yeah. does. She do that still? Yeah. No. 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 You know what I'm speaking of. Yeah. I, yes. I, like yeah. when she jumps asleep and I'm to wake up, just like I'm going to the bedroom now. Like I just like. Yeah. She'd yeah. Fly up. What? Not so bad again. Perfect. Not so bad again. I can actually say, Bruce, Bruce, and she open her eye and answer and say, I'm coming, I'm coming. Usually when I go so, well, you're afraid of me for. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Here we see that the patient's nervous system was really wound up. She was hypersensitive, hyper jumpy, always on alert, couldn't fall into a deep sleep. And her husband had to be very cautious when he approached her. So that's much better now. And this is her second session. So today I'm going to do some TMJ work and some upper cervical work because of her car accident and hopefully that will calm her down additionally. Grace, I'm going to put my fingers in your mouth. <laughs> Close your mouth. Close. There you go. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one. Open. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two. Okay. Did you get warm? Yeah. You did, right? Yeah. One of the interesting things back in the States is that patients have a tendency to perspire greatly after certain adjustments. That doesn't seem to be the case here in Jamaica. Most of my patients do not perspire after adjustments. However, I could feel a heat wave come off of Grace after that little bit of trigger point work that we did. Here, because of the COVID restrictions, I can't properly see which way her jaw's deviating and I don't have my tongue depressors or other tools. So I'm gonna do a little mobilization on her left TMJ, very light. I'm gonna go recheck her muscle function and see what happens. It blows everything out, meaning I will not be adjusting her on the left. I go back and do a little mobilization on her right. It actually cavitates and it fires up all her muscles. Yeah. Did that make a little pop? It did, right? <laughs> yeah, it did. Okay. Oh. You rest for a minute.
Are you guys taking a taxi or how are you getting home? We drive. We drive. You're driving? Yeah, I drive. Somebody needs, she's going to need to sleep. Uh, thank you. Yeah. She's going to be really well off here today. All right. So, so next Saturday is my last Saturday, guys, so come. Maybe we'll come in the week. Okay. Come yeah. in the week. I think because COVID, they are closing down. Uh, Wednesday is an open day for the week, next week. Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thank you for the food, by the way. That's going to keep you from starving for three days. Yeah, so I don't have any supplies. I need to go buy water today. <laughs> so they had a three-day complete shutdown. Grocery stores, restaurants, everything was closed. So you had to stock up before then. So this is some basic massage combined with chiropractic care, which is very, it's very easy to do too much and exceed the patient's capacity. So remember, I want to go slow and cautious, but I also only get three visits with her. Grace, one more. One of the things Grace had mentioned before treatment is how she could think more clearly, how she could actually plan, how her internal stress had come way down and she had better thoughts. You know, chiropractic does help patients think more clearly. Yes. And it, they, it does. Not just clearly, in terms of being able to plan ahead. That, that missing link. I mean, every day we go about our lives, the stress, and not being to create able to clearly define your thoughts. That has allowed me, your, your session with me allowed me to, I guess, the flow is <laughs> back. A uh, patient of mine once said she, she liked to listen to the internal silence. Yes. After treatment. Yes. The internal that calm. peace. Yeah. Yes. Yes.